Hello, it's Matt Strats here. This was a very regal opening. Uh, probably wasn't, because I just went, Hello! And shouted and made everybody cry. I don't know why I'm still paused. Unpause! There we go. So, when we last left off, I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. I'm very happy. When we last left off, we were in the cave, and I found the, the steps and the grander hey, man. We can light these. The grander man. And now we're going to light some flames and have a little dance. Remember the good times with the bonfires and the marshmallows and the they burning like children. Kind of I don't know either. Anyway, oh yeah, very quickly. Uh, lunch out is gonna be done. Well, not done now, but in the next couple of weeks, I'm gonna really push to get it finished because I want to play Sherlock Holmes when it comes out. It's on the 28th, which I'm gonna be playing. Um, brand new for you guys on the first day. Well, not the first day, but one of the first days. I'm like, yo, boom, coming at you with your face full of Holmesness. And Watson crying in the corner because really he touched me again. Um, I'm not sure. Anyway, that's going to be on uh, the 28th. It's incredible. Probably, possibly the 28th. The I will be uploading. I will be uploading on the 28th. So, yes, for Sherlock Holmes. So, Uncharted will be finished by then. So, the next few weeks, you'll just see a shitload of Uncharted. So, I do apologise, but, you know, keep watching. We'll get it finished together. Uh, the spiders again. <laughs> Why? I hate spiders. I mean, they've got a home to go to. Isn't there like some sort of spider refuge that they should be in? Or am I in it now? Am I in the spider spider refuge? The, I want to say Spider Man, but it's not Spider Man. The Spider Refuge. Where all the homeless spiders go and all the adopted spiders that have been repossessed? That's not right, you don't repossess your child. Or maybe you do. Maybe you're doing like, I don't know, some sort of DIY shop you'd repossess a child. You know, making fun of like all fours. I'm not all fours, but you know, feet, hands on the floor, and put him as a table. You could throw a tablecloth over him. You could make him lie horizontally, very still. And if he doesn't do as you tell him, you beat him. What? No, I don't beat children. <laughs> not often. Anyway, let's carry on, Drake. You're going to get me arrested. What are we doing? We're punching this bald man off the edge because he annoys me far too much. Shining torches in my eyes. So we throw torches into. Into the pit of fire. I see. Easy. Easy when you know how. So grab the torch, you think? If you ever want to do this at home, all you got to do is uh, light your mum's best, I don't know, best fruit ball on fire, and then just throw bits into it. So grab a, grab a twig from outside, set it on fire, and then just throw it in fruit balls. And you can do this at home. You can have your drakey fun at home. And if you do that, you're an idiot. <laughs> don't do that. Don't do it because I told you to. Go rob a bank if you're doing what I'm telling you to, because then you can send me the money. Oh, you can send me the money. <laughs> right, guys. <laughs> Is that bad? Am I going like, to get arrested for, I don't know, collectively... I don't know, I'm not a mastermind. I could be such an evil genius. Well, evil halfwit. But still, it'd be evil. And I would be of evil persuasion. I don't know. Genius-ish? Kind of a genius-ish, I'm guessing. Anyway, I'm going to throw torches in the... The pit of fire. This is going to be so hard. I'm not good at throwing torches. I'm not going to lie. To be honest, I've not had that much experience throwing torches. It's not something I was brought up to do. My mum never told me. and said, do you know what, Matthew? If you practice really hard, you can be the best arsonist in the world. And then I set the house on fire. And she went, you suck. <laughs> I was like, no, but look, that's what I meant to do. But yes, now we're outside. We're living in a box because of you. <laughs> and then I set the box on fire. Oh, God, it was a horrible weekend. <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm sorry, mum. <laughs> throwing the, uh, the the vast twigs of flaminess, flamey goodness, into the pit of fire. Have I done it? Nope, I have not. I thought I did them for a second. This is a lot harder than it looks. Can I not just not, not throw the thing on fire? This is extremely hard. Especially the spiders pulling it out. Because it's not me that's missing. I'm actually hitting, you know, the fruit bowls. It's the spiders that are going, <laughs> every time I throw it in. And I'm like, leave it alone, spiders. And they're going, <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> the, the snigger and the chuckle to himself. The little asbo. The spider asbos, you see. Little uh, anti-social behaviour. Shit. Throw in, throw in the flame. <laughs> stop it, spider! Will you stop blowing out my torch? And they keep right back in. <laughs> so I punched him in his spider face. And now he hates me. And I'm not allowed to see my spider children anymore. Oh, God. The, the things have just... I don't know what's happened. I think my reality and my fiction, <laughs> fiction and non-fiction, is just molding into one, and it's just becoming nothingian. 
I would have said non-fiction, but that's exactly the same as fiction and non-fiction, isn't it? Don't pick holes in my plans and show them to the rest of the world. Have I got it in? Ah, oh, yes! See, now you weren't even watching me. You were just uh, watching me swing. Oh, yeah, Indiana Jones style. What the f- No! Why did I fall? Why did you grab on? Ah, oh, Drake. Drakey, Drakey, Drake, Drake, Drake. <laughs> Try it again. I'm back here again. I am so sorry. I do apologize. Blame the spiders. Stop blowing out the torches. Uh, never! I'm Spider, I'm a deckhead, I'm a fucking deckhead! <laughs> spider, your language is appalling! What are you gonna do about it? I'll tie your legs up and use you as a doorknob. I don't even know! I don't even know! <laughs> the round doorknobs, obviously, you can't have the handle ones because that wouldn't work. I'm not retarded. <laughs> so, I got it first time? No, I didn't. I'm gonna throw some more flamey things into the torture basket. The basket of win. Please hit it. I'm, I'm tr really trying, guys. I'm so trying. Look, I'm even aiming it up. I'm lining it up. And then released. There you go. See? Done it for you. And you're not happy. Are you pleased? I would be. Right, I'm going to take this very steady. Where am I swinging? I'm swinging over there. I've got it now. I've got it! Swing on the steps. There was no handrail. I was looking to me off. If usually steps have got handrails. I will make sure I don't fall off this as well. Because that would be retarded. So we've got more fiery goodness. Ah, oh, well, this was a bit of an easier shot to make. It's only across there. I could do that. I could piss on that. <laughs> we wouldn't light anything on fire, would it? Unless, you know, I got chlamydia and my pee was burning. Which I don't have, so that wouldn't work. Moving on. <laughs> this is such a horrible episode. You guys are like, what are you talking about, man? You beat children, you set your house on fire, and now you're saying that your pee burns. No, none of it's true. None of it. Well, maybe the second one, but none of it. <laughs> none of it's true. So, I don't even know what I'm throwing this one, it's There's really dark. Don't lie, don't lie to me. Don't even lie. How about I throw you down there? I'm gonna set you on fire. Ha ah, set him on fire and push him over. That'd work, it'd work just as well. Probably more so. Because, you know, he's made of 25% petrol. And petrol, you know, explodes. I did the sound effects, you don't need to know what a sound effect of an explosion is. You know what an explosion is. And if you don't know, just set your dad's can on fire. Serious says. Oh, oh, okay, don't again. The other crank. Help me open. <laughs> if it's on the news now. 1,200 people. Well, not 1,200. Well, I've got that mess ups. 1,200 people have Let's set things on fire today and caused havoc across uh, Sweden. There we go. <laughs> Just because Sweden's full of Swedish people. I don't know. Don't set things on fire, guys. Right. It's bad. It's very close. bad. What's the matter, Charlie? Well, oh, well, maybe like not. Depends. Wet. Depends if you're meant to be setting things on fire. If you're a flame, if you're a juggling, juggler man, a juggler, not a juggler man. You don't meant to juggle men. Oh dear, you're just some sort of sordid. I, I don't know. Don't be sordid such gay. A I don't know. You could be. They juggle men. As I would juggle women. Let's carry on this. Let's let's leave this and carry on with the game. <laughs> Sometimes I just can't stop talking. My mind just goes. And I'm sorry, I do apologise, it's a disease, <laughs> it's a curse, I lose so many gerbils that way. Well, we're going to move okay, these now, because I've got a friend to help me turn the wheels, you see that's what I was missing before, right. I missed my friend. Let's do, this again. Let's do it then, because I missed my friend, <laughs> you left me on your own. I don't know why they couldn't have just done this in the first place, I, I don't get that. Why didn't they just turn the wheels in the first place, when I asked him? Started to spin. No, 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 we're going to rotate the globe. So... This is what you do when you spin a globe. You spin it and all the world then spins with you. So if you've got a globe at home and you're spinning it, if you're actually spinning it, you're spinning the world. Like Australia just whizzing around the world. It's like, what am I doing? All the mozzies and the kangaroos will be falling over. I'm going, why? Why are my ears messed up? Because they've got really big ears. And you know, it's the flowers inside your ears when you spin around it. I'm not going to do a science lesson for you. Clearly I'm not the sort of person that should be teaching science anyway. I know nothing. So, we're going to match up some continents. That there is my house. It's big. It's very big. Um, what else? The one next door. That's my neighbour's house. It's not as big, but yeah, you know, still a house. The one, uh, what is it? it? Looks like a shovel or a bell. It looks like a bit like a bell. You see the bell? No? Is it just me that can see the bell? What else can we make? Uh, is it? I'm scratching my foot. Ah, scratch, scratch, scratch. 
Is it, um, what else could that be? There's nothing else, that is definitely a bell. There's no, put in the comments, but, you know, it's a bell. Um, maybe it's a doorbell, maybe we've got to ring the doorbell. Maybe they're not home, you know? Wouldn't it be bad if you rung the doorbell and it wasn't your person that you thought it was going to be? Like, if you expect you were going to somebody's house and you rung the doorbell and there wasn't, they weren't there. Whoa. It's bad enough when you ring somebody that's the wrong number. Can you imagine that at the door? Like, knocking on the door and then this old man comes down and like, Oh, oh, you're not Jamie. He's <laughs> like, no, get in my room. It's kind of ah! the inner crypts. That never happened. <laughs> Pretty good. Quite easy. Because I know Jamie. Um, we're nearly coming to a close. We've got about a minute left to go. So we're going to carry on going. I'm going to go upstairs. It's good exercise for him. He needs to work out more. I'm clearly stopping because he heard me. Are you calling me fat? No. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Some more steps for you. Go on, fatty. Run. He didn't run. He jogs. To be fair, he does run a bit, a bit, a feminine, a feminine. It look well. He runs feminine, a bit, a feminine. I don't know if that's a word. All right, we're looking <laughs> for should a nice tomb. Feminine, just like feminine in infinity. He's lost all right. meaning now. The word feminine in infinity. And we're gonna uh, pause it in a second because I found the spinny place of doom. Uh, we're gonna pick up in the next episode where I left off, which is in a graveyard with the spinny thing of doom. It likes like rock. Maybe it's rock. It's like Blackpool rock. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, haul that shiznizzle, and I'll catch you in the next episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye! Push the button there for more subscriber goodness.